Talent, fame, and style. Alex Turner seems to have it all. But what if he has more than we think? A dark secret, perhaps? No, I'm pretty good with secrets. So you guys already know, in a couple videos, I have referenced Alex Turner as a vampire. I mean, I should have just made a vampire sim because that's basically what Alex Turner is anyways. Y'all, he is a vampire. They'll stop pretending he is Dracula. So as we know, I have a theory that Alex Turner is definitely a vampire. Like, I mean, it's obvious. And you might be thinking, how are you even qualified to know what a vampire is and how to spot one? I've seen Interview with the Vampire, I'm Buffy the Vampire Slayer's bitch, and Twilight? I was Team Edward, so I think I know a vampire when I see them. I think I know more about vampires than you do, genius. So let's take a look at my sources. So Alex was definitely turned around the year 1660, and since he is such an old vampire, he got sun immunity, he can be in the mirror. That's why in the um, Why'd You Only Call Me When You're High music video, he's in the mirror, but things look a little weird. Like, take a look. This picture from 1885. This is a picture of a random guy in the workshop of the guy who created the first car ever. Doesn't he look just like Alex Turner? Hmm. We all know that Alex Turner and Miles Kane have a very close relationship, but the reason for this is actually explained in their song Dracula Teeth that they wrote together. Miles is the first person Alex ever told that he was a vampire to, and Dracula Teeth is the story of how Alex turned into a vampire. Just listen to the lyrics. Him being a vampire also explains why he writes lyrics like maybe I was a little too wild in the 70s because he was alive in the 70s and he got to be wild. He was doing some crazy stuff in the 70s, you bet he was. Think but Alex still likes to connect to his past, especially when writing songs because he's been doing it for so long, so many hundreds of years. So he still uses a typewriter because he thinks it's ingenious. He's like, oh my god, yes, I love this. It's better than a keyboard because it was before that, you know? This brings me home. This brings me back to um, 1929, you know? I'm here. I'm loving my life. Since Alex has done very well in his career because he's had so much time to master his craft, he has gained enough money to be able to pay hospitals to give him blood to drink, and that's why you never see him like out murdering people for their blood, never any horror stories like, oh my god, Alex Turner tried to turn me into a vampire, Alex Turner tried to suck my blood, Alex Turner tried to kill me, um, story time, not clickbait. Um, that's because he is a good vampire. And we all know that Turner is just really pathetic when it comes to technology. I mean, take a look at some of these pictures and clips. Why don't you follow anybody on Twitter? <laughs> What's that? Why won't you follow anybody on Twitter? Who? Oh, the band. Yeah. Oh, nothing to do with it. <laughs> what does the Arctic I don't need to know Twitter about. say? Like, it follows no one. But I, does today? it say things? Like, does it? No, I think it just says we're a band and what's up. Right. Yeah. Recycling is a very important yeah. issue. Yeah. Now, obviously, uh, today's set, it was absolutely... So the reason he is just so bad at technology and social media is because since he's a vampire, he has gone hundreds of years, centuries, without ever having social media or technology. You may be thinking to yourself, how could Alex be a vampire and be living all these years when we've seen baby pictures of him, we've seen his parents? Well, actually, I'm about to blow your mind here for a second. Those baby pictures are pictures of his actual children, and guess what? His parents are his children. Cause all you people are vampires. There's also some people who don't believe Alex is a vampire at all. They think he's something else, something otherworldly, like from another planet, like an extraterrestrial. E.T. says hi, he is quaking. On my Nick O'Malley video, somebody commented, I also think that 2015 until now, Alex is just an alien in Alex's old body. That's why he always sings about the moon and civilization on the moon and stuff. 
And this could also be very valid and true because it makes so much sense. Um, he's writing about all these different space theme things, especially for the new album. He's just so in depth and so in tune on the same level as space and aliens. Like his mind is extra terrestrial. Then we also have a little something something from our queen at little underscore bow underscore peep. Is it bow or boo? I don't I don't really know, but she's the queen. She writes, Bitch been possessed by the entity they refused to sacrifice Nick to. And it turns out it was a glamorous alien entity that hibernated for two million years because it couldn't find anyone to mate with. And now it lives in Alex's body and makes them behave crazy and abnormally. And do crazy little dances and attempt to attract some partners, but has failed since only Miles seems to have fallen for it. So yeah, um, that's that's it really he is a vampire um maybe he's an alien or maybe he's like i said just a 32 year old man who can just make really good music and is a little weird so yeah nah he's probably just like a fucking vampire this is the end of the video this is the end the end of the video it's the end of the video yo it's the end of the show um was alex a vampire i don't really know let's go I am a rapper. Oh my god, guys. Do you think I'll get signed? I don't know.